think you'll enjoy what I and so many of us have suggested in regards to a future Classic Plus experience. Oh, all right, all right. Done in order to keep the classic population alive and healthy I after to see Raph's what video release, was. and hopefully it's success. If you'd like to check out that video, you can just click right up here. Okay. Because judging by all the positive it. praise that that video received, yeah, I, I didn't see this one. Uh, I'll, I'll watch this in a second. Classic Plus be the future of World of Warcraft. I fucking hope so, man. Classic World of Warcraft has been a huge success for Blizzard Entertainment so far. Since Let me actually, I, I, I always forget to do this sometimes. I'll watch one other video right after that. Uh, this is a Nixium video. Here, let me link it to you guys so you're able to watch it. Here we go. Six release, we have gotten to re-experience Nax Ramus. We have gotten Classic to plus, go yeah. through the dark portal and climb yeah. the very steps of the Black Temple. And soon, we'll be going to Northrend to fight against the Tyrant Lich King. But uh -huh. the question is... What is going to happen after Wrath of the Lich King? And people have been speculating on this for a while. Some people have said, oh, we're just going to see classic Cataclysm come out. But other people have said, well, you know, Cataclysm... I don't think they're going to bring out Cataclysm Classic. I, I don't think so. I think that, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I am very, very much like not expecting that. ...isn't really considered classic WoW. Classic no. WoW is sort of... Classic well, team. well, wow, it, wow. The reason why it's not classic is because they changed the world. If you play in the old Azeroth, it's classic. If you play in the new Azeroth, it's retail. I feel like it's just that fucking simple. BC and Wrath of the Lich King. So there's also been speculation of a classic version 2.0 coming out in the future. Now, what is classic version 2.0, and what would that even look like, a new version of classic WoW? That's what we're here to talk about today. But before we get into talking about classic version 2, uh, leave a comment down below. Pause the video. I thought that was a sponsor. Okay. Leave a comment sharing what you would like to see in classic, or a new addition that Blizzard could put into the old game that would bring you back to it and make you want to play classic wow again possibly for i think that new content <laughs> that's what it comes down to for me like what would get me to play classic plus so like new content <laughs> and free respects i don't want to spend a single cent to respect i want to be able to respect whenever i want to whatever i want for free period uh, I don't. I don't want to waste a single cent on respecking. For the third time in many of our cases, leave a comment down below real fast, and then resume the video. But of course, before we get into talking about classic version two, yeah, my ideas, ideas that have been put forward by the community, we have to thank real fast today's sponsor. Okay, today's I video was so. sponsored by absolutely nothing. What? Are you somebody who has everything, or perhaps is dealing with someone who just keeps telling you they want nothing for their birthday party? Yeah. Then you need nothing. It's literally nothing. What? Link down below in the description. At last, give to your annoying friend or parent exactly what they've I don't know if this is real or not. And watch their reaction to you giving them exactly what they've been asking for. Nothing. So get yourself some nothing today, everybody. Link down below in the description. I I, I don't know if this is real or not. Nothing. I'm a big fan of classic World of Warcraft, personally. I'm pretty sure that you guys know that. Yeah. I do enjoy the modern game, despite its failings and flaws here and there. Mm -hmm. But classic, you know, this old school version of World of Warcraft yeah. that I grew up with, that's where my heart is. And so I was very moved, and I absolutely loved it when Blizzard finally caved to the peer pressure, or fan pressure, I should yeah. say. And they finally, at last, gave us classic World of Warcraft. We got to re-experience the good okay, old days. It, it was fun. Yeah, there were some problems. God, bro, I remember that shit got... Oh, my God. That was the fucking worst, man. Look at that. Look how long ago this was. Hi, Cat Danny. Holy shit. Problems here and there. And yes, the community has changed quite a lot since back in the ye old yonder days. But it was an awesome time. And I think that most of us have yeah. been satiated when it came to Classic WoW. Yeah, I We've think so. We've gotten to relive those days of the past. We've gotten to kill Anixia. Yeah. Go to Naxxramas, all that stuff. Beat and his ass. And now we're talking about this idea of Classic Version 2.0, or Classic Plus, mm -hmm. as some people have said. And what is that? Well, essentially, people have proposed this idea that after Wrath of the Lich King Classic comes out, 
What if Blizzard restarted the whole thing again? What if they actually re-released oh. classic World of Warcraft, like OG WoW, but as a new version of classic World of Warcraft with updates and content that we never saw back in the ye old yonder days of original classic WoW? No, Is no. that something that would make you come back if they did a season of mastery and it had a bunch of new content in it, like maybe like three new zones, like new dungeons and a new raid? I feel like a lot of people would come back and play that. But the thing is that you have to add in some quality of life features. I, I, I like, like summoning stones at dungeons, for example. I think that you should just have a summoning stone at a dungeon. Players have already kind of solved this problem in Classic WoW with having warlock alts. I, I, I think that having warlock alts, like accepting gold for summons, like that's stupid. Uh, I, I'm not about that. Better, new world content? Yeah, better alt system. I think alts are okay. Um, I would just like to see respects be free. Where does this idea That's come from? That's a big thing from, for me. You might be wondering. Well, it comes from the fact that Blizzard created mm -hmm. Season of Mastery, which almost seems like a discounted version of Classic Plus it's or a, Classic yeah. 2.0. It's classic. It's classic 1.01. With 1. a couple 01. of changes thrown in. So this is why people have speculated this idea that after Wrath of the Lich King, there's a possibility that we might see a new restarted Classic WoW server session, Classic TBC and Wrath, but updated with new gameplay and new yeah. content. But what kind of new content you might be sitting there wondering? You they might should make rotations as complex as they were in like Burning Crusade or Wrath, probably like they were in Wrath. Because rotations now are so hard that most players can't figure them out because they're just stupid. And so you have to make easier rotations that are simpler to understand. Like Retail WoW's rotation system is a lot harder than it was back then. Uh, TVC's rotation is one button. Yeah, and a lot of people play TVC. So that's what I'm saying, right? Is you want to have a uh, you want to have new rotations and like new abilities, but you don't want to have it like be super complex. Like, Nixium, what could Blizzard do? What could they bring to the table with Classic 2.0 that would bring players back? Bring back players like myself, Nixium, subscribe, like the video, thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> players like myself and yeah. even players like you. Well, for me, I'm going to propose a few things that I personally would like to see in this Classic version 2.0. Or okay. just things that I think that Blizzard would for sure do. Let's go down the list, shall we? First of all, it goes without saying that if we did get a classic version 2.0, we're probably going to get the updated character models and the updated graphics. Bl I don't think so. I think that's a bad idea. The reason why I think it's a bad idea is that it's the juxtaposition. It's like you have everything in Elwyn Forest looks good whenever you're on this dwarf. But whenever you see this dwarf right here in old Elwyn Forest, it makes Elwyn Forest look worse comparatively. That's what ends up happening. I think the new models are generally really good. I, I like the new models for most things. I mean, there are some things that are better about the old ones, but in general, I like the new models. Uh, the difference is that I don't want to see them update the graphics of the entire game. I think that a game like OSRS is is a great example of the fact that we don't need to update the graphics in order to make the game good we don't need to make the game some uh, massive completely different thing and like update every single thing about it i don't think that's necessary or required at all uh graphics should stay the same because a big draw of classic wow is always going to be nostalgia it's always going to be seeing that game that you played whenever you were younger and then it's like, oh, wow, there's a new update for it. Maybe I'll come back and check it out. Blizzard over the past several years has been slowly upgrading the graphics of World of Warcraft. They have. And not just the character models. It's a good thing. But also models from the old world as well. We've gotten new centaur models. And also, like, oh, another reason why it's important for them not to update the models. Why is it that Vampire Survivors gets updates so often? One reason is because the guy clearly really cares a lot about the game. And the other reason is because it's really fucking easy to update a game with, with, with Super Mario uh, 3 graphics. That's a big reason. It, it, it's less work. New builds, new 
Knowles, new whatever. I mean, we're getting they look new great. centaurs and Dragonflight. So Blizzard has just been periodically updating all of these old models and stuff. All the stuff that you know and love from Classic WoW. So seeing yeah. Classic version 2.0 come out with new character models and updated world models and updated boss models and stuff, probably a very real possibility. I think people would like that. Now, no. something that I personally would like to see in this new version of Classic I, I, I is wouldn't. I'd love to see the addition of more class quests. I love class quests. They really add to the immersion and the feeling yeah. of playing whatever Close class you decided to you create much. at the login screen. And so having more class quests, I think, would be pretty cool. Some classes get quite a few. I think class quests would be really good at like maybe end game or close to end game that would give you gear that you could take to start into the end game. That would be cool. Class quests, but a lot of them, you know, you get a class quest at level 10, you get one at level 20, and then it just kind of pitter patters out, and then you just yeah. don't have one for forever. I think it would be cool if Blizzard put in a class quest in Classic WoW, an interesting, engaging, immersive, story filled class quest every 10 levels so that you always had something to look forward to that's what final th fantasy has and they have i'm pretty sure it's what they have is they have class quests pretty much every expansion and i think that's great like it makes you it makes you remember that like oh i'm a dark knight and this is like what dark knights do and it allows people to kind of like fully understand the fantasy of what they're doing thing that people have talked about that would most likely be in this new version of classic 2 would be more dungeons and why not yes. there's a lot of possibilities for new dungeon Grimbatal. content that could have been added to classic wow or could be added into the game today for example Scarlet we have Crypt. the stormwind canal or the sewers dungeon there's yeah. this unused portal in stormwind city in classic wow and it was never used for anything so people have i think what they should do with this is they should turn it into a jail and anybody who gets banned or suspended for buying gold can log in, and if they are logged in for three hours inside of the jail, it reduces a day off of their suspension. So, And they can only sit in the jail. They can only move around in the jail. They can't talk or do anything. They just have to sit in the jail cells. And players can come in, and there will be barrels of like rotten fruit, and players can throw the rotten fruit at the people that are in the jail cells because they're the gold buyers. That's what I think they should do. Yeah, there's an AF yeah, there's an AFK timer too. And like, yeah, if players do that, every player that you hit gives you like a one hour experience buff of like five percent or something like that. So it's like it's like you you get all the kids to come and like throw rotten tomatoes at the people in jail. That's the aesthetic that we're going for speculated a stormwind sewer dungeon kind of like oblivion remember the start of oblivion going through the, the sewer killing the rats that, yeah kind of like that really cool we'd love that that, that would be awesome what about grim batal you know we got a little bit of grim batal love back in cataclysm but not that much so making some more dwarven themed dungeons in this new version of classic that would be awesome here's one you probably forgot the Stone Talon Oracle from Warcraft 3. Remember that quest what? line from Warcraft 3? Going through all those tunnels and stuff, like what looking the? for the Dude, Oracle in Stone Talon all. Mountains? Well, guess what? Stone Talon Mountains God damn. and World of Warcraft ain't got none of this stuff. So having a cool, like, Stone Talon Oracle or, like, underground Stone Talon Caverns-themed dungeon, that would be awesome. That's something I'd really like to see, honestly. Call back to Warcraft 3. There you That's go. Right. What about the demonic area of Winter Spring where all the demons are roaming around? Why don't we It'd have a cool dungeon around a raid them? In there, like, yeah. You know, just a dungeon cut into the, the slopes of Hyjal or something. That would be neat. That would be really cool. Or even a pirate dungeon near Booty Bay. The yeah. point is, there could be a lot more yeah, dungeon like content lot. added to the game with new kinds of gear. And speaking of gear, here's a personal thing that I would want. Okay. As you guys know, I'm a really big fan of Elder Scrolls Online. Wow. And one of the things that Elder Scrolls Online is polluted with that I love is that whether you're a level one player or a max level player, there are so many sets of gear to collect all throughout the world. And I don't mean just sets transmog? of gear, like transmog, like, you know, matching gear. I mean sets, like the Scarlet Monastery set oh, okay. or your tier sets that you would get in raids or something. I'm talking about sets, dude, sets. I would love to see Blizzard add more set gear to the leveling process throughout Classic WoW. The most That's a really good fucking idea. 
That's actually a really fucking good idea. I, I like that a lot. You remember, like, how cool it was to have, like, your Scarlet set? Like, even if it's, like, a two- or a three-piece set. That's badass. Yeah, having set items, yeah, I feel like that, yeah, that is cool. Famous set gear is, again, the Scarlet Crusade gear. Wailing caverns, But by the time yeah. you get this Scarlet Crusade gear, you're already past Duskwood. You're past all yeah. the undead areas and so getting these bonus points to fighting undead doesn't matter uh, it's kind of useless having more set gear that would empower That's a really your good abilities idea. or empower your character in yeah. some way whether it's something small like a movement speed increase if you have three of the six pieces or something or even something major like adding a like a random chance ability that happens whenever you swing your weapon would be incredible more set. yeah cool abilities and cool weapons like the ravager i think are absolutely necessary because you want things that change the meta that's that should be your goal your goal should be to change the meta like if classic plus comes out and warriors are still the top dps by a mile besides rogues maybe and, and that's it like that's gonna suck you want to add in Crusader Strike. You want to add in, uh, you know, moon some form of like mana recovery for Moon Boys. You you have to add in new stuff to make the game different and dynamic. That's why people come back and play different seasons of like Poe or different seasons of other games. It's because the games actually change. That's to collect. It just not. I don't hey, know, go just, play uh, the same I game love again. sets in MMOs. I think they're awesome. Also, sets, I believe, kind of, they, they fit very well into the classic yeah, world, they're whether cool. they're crafted sets or sets that you get in dungeons or sets that drop in exactly. the open world. Like, I love it. Now, of course, And also, people... like, for new players, whenever they see the item as a piece of a set, I think it's like a motivator to go get the other pieces in the set. It's like, oh, shit, well, I got this piece in the set, now I should go get the other ones. Want more raids in classic WoW. What kind of raids do they want? Well, there's a lot of speculation, but... Two that I think would be really cool is one, a Fellwood raid. I would love a raid set in Fellwood, fighting against the demons and whatnot. We got. The I would love. Do you know, like, back whenever you go into that massive fucking cave in Fellwood and there's the Dreadlord at the end? It's like the level 60 Dreadlord. If there was actually, like, a massive cave that went into, like, the core of the roots of Hygel and it was being corrupted or some shit like that, that would be fucking badass. Yeah, that would be really, really fucking cool. I would love that. And also, Karazhan Crypts. I mean, like, there's no way that can't be one of them. The, you know, the Molten Core raid with Elementals and Fire. We got, you know, Upper Blackrock Spire, Orcs and Dragons yeah. and stuff. Nixie's Lair, Undead with Nax Ramas. What about a demon-themed raid set in Fellwood? And maybe in this really raid, cool. we go through the caverns where Shondo Stormrage awoke the druids in the events of Warcraft 3, or where that Illidan cool. was imprisoned underneath Mount Hyjal. That would be an interesting location for a raid. Or maybe yeah. even a raid set in a kind of out-of-the-way zone, like, for example, the Ultric Mountains. During the events of Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2, uh -huh. the Orcish Horde were constantly fighting against the Alliance, Stormwind, all those guys, whatever. And although the Orcs mostly did band around Thrall during the events of Warcraft 3, there certainly were other groups of Orcs that the Warcraft 3 lore established that did not follow Thrall and did not follow this new Horde. That's so maybe true. sort of like a remnant kind of clan of Orcs that did not join the Horde. Uh, kind of like oh that's a really cool idea i like this a lot yeah like because so, there were so many like if you played warcraft 2 there were a bunch of orc clans they were badass orcs that we fight in black rock dragon Mountains, mob more black of them rock, in another yep. area uh, just having a nice think orc themed skull raid, was another one i think would be cool the horde is there to kind of clean up these you know uh, these Bad orcs. Bad <laughs> and the boys, Alliance yeah. obviously don't want these orcs on their doorstep. So maybe that could take place. I want a raid of the Scarlet Crusade. I want a raid into the gigantic fucking Scarlet Cathedral. That would be fucking badass. An Ultric Mountains or something. Going back to something that I personally would like to in classic version 2.0, if uh -huh. they decide to go down this route, is I would love to see an updated world. And it's just the little things that I think would just be really cool. For example, 
I would love to see more lore books in the world. You know those books that you can just click that are sitting on tables yeah. and they have yeah, that would be stories cool. and information about the world? I think it would be cool to read books about, you know, NPCs' lives or just books that have nothing to do with major lore events, maybe just diaries or journals. I think that would be neat if the more of those were... I think they should add that with, uh, w with like, different little quest lines. Because there's some zones that have absolutely, like, abysmal questing. The questing in that zone just sucks. It should not suck. Like, I, I don't agree with the idea that, like, Classic WoW is bad questing. That's not the way the game should play. The game should play to where the quests are hard, they are challenging, sometimes you have to move around, but it's not like you do three quests and then you fly somewhere else, and then you have to do three quests and fly back. That sucks. Uh, they should add in more quests scattered around the world. I would love to see Feral empty terrible, buildings in Classic WoW filled with stuff. The reality is there's a lot of buildings in Classic WoW that have nothing in them. Are, are just empty. You walk They're in, it's there. an empty building. I would yes. like to see some tables in there, some chairs, you know, just uh, whatever. Like just Small more stuff, stuff in okay. these empty buildings so that, that way they're sure. not empty. I would like it if NPCs had more dialogue options or interactions. I would even like to see new areas pop up in Classic WoW or just unused areas, yeah, I think new areas for, for sure. a purpose. There's a lot of hidden locations all the throughout Kalimdor and the Eastern them. Kingdoms. I've even made videos about it. A yep. And we could use those areas for something, whether it's entrances to new dungeons or just, I don't know, like uh, new questing mm -hmm. areas. Uh, there's a lot that you could do with it. So new areas would be cool. And then finally, of course, I'd like to see some updated flight paths. Right. Last but not least, I think everybody really wants balanced classes, though, in Classic Version 2. People want to be able to play that Red Paladin. People want to be able to play that Feral Druid. Although, why you would play a Feral Druid instead of a badass Restoration Druid? I think that, that that's true, too. There should be no specs that are bad. I don't like the idea of bad specs. Bad specs should not exist. I don't get it. But the point is... People want to play those classes and those specs that normally they couldn't play. So balancing the classes and the specs, I think everybody would like to see something like that. And of course, you know, updated boss mechanics and stuff and dungeon mechanics and so on. Not and so too many. Not too many updated mechanics. Because I think the reason why Classic has such a wide appeal and so many people like Classic and played it is because it's easy. Like, I'm going to be honest. It's because it's fucking easy. Uh, you don't have to be good at the game. You don't have to be amazing. You just play, you put in the time, and you're able to kill the boss. I think that's a big reason why the game's successful. Add in new mechanics, but don't make it too hard. That would, of course, be a given. It's a big factor. Is it possible that Blizzard is going to give us a brand new version of World of Warcraft? Something like this? Uh, personally, I, hope I think so. there is a slim chance, but it all depends on how well Dragonflight does. I think that if Dragonflight does very well and is successful for yeah. Blizzard, which obviously they want that to happen, I don't think we'll see something like this occur with Classic WoW. But if Dragon, I think that we will. I, I feel like there are people that work on pretty much only Classic WoW. And, and like, I don't know about this, though. So I have no idea. Like, I think it is better for the game in, in general. I think it's better for the game if Dragonflight does well than if they make Classic Plus. Like, I, I'm not a big fan of go back and just, like, keep re remaking the same content over and over. It is better if Retail WoW is good than if Classic is good. Flight ended up being a really big failure and a really big money sink for Blizzard. It wouldn't surprise me if Blizzard shifted more of their attention to the Classic game, since the Classic game still does have a very strong and healthy and relatively stable population. Yeah, it does. I guess we will just have to wait and find out and see what happens. Is this something that you guys would like to see, though? Would you play something like this? Classic version 2 with new content I would, and yeah. updated graphics Absolutely. and stuff like that. We'll keep out. Those. I would only. The thing is, like, I don't want to level again unless it's semi permanent. So, like, I don't want to go and spend a lot of time out in the world leveling a character if they're just going to reset it in a year. Like, it, there has to be, like, a, an element of, like, okay, you're done, you're finished. That's what, yeah, that's what I'd really like. Or it's fast, yeah. It's like PoE. I don't mind leveling again because it takes me a day or two. 
Uh, with uh, Diablo 3, it doesn't matter if you level again for a season. It takes you a day or two. It doesn't matter. Quality of life features that we classic players are not big fans of, but just giving us more content to enjoy in the classic worlds would be awesome. Whether it's yeah. Azeroth, Outland, or even Northrend. That would be cool. Guys, thank you for watching this video. And if you have an idea for something that you would like to see in classic version two, if it were to happen, leave a comment down below with what you think would be an awesome addition to the game. And if you would like to support the channel directly, unlocking mm -hmm. your very own chat badge, as well as emotes that you can use right here on the channel, please consider hitting that join button over on the channel's banner and becoming a member and a supporter of the channel wow. today. Guys, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And I will see you all with my next video. I thought this was pretty good. I think this is fair. Speaking I really of, liked his idea of adding in a feral ass raid. Like, I, I do. I really, really like that idea a lot because I had never thought of it. But, like, one thing that Classic did really well is they had outdoor areas that almost felt like dungeons and raids. And I felt that way whenever I went through the, uh, the feral ass area. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought it was badass. A nice video. Yeah, it's a good video. I haven't seen this before. I, I don't know how I missed this one. I feel like this is like 100% a video that I would have watched. Like the video? Like it? Oh, like the video. Yeah, I'll make sure to do that. Uh, yeah, I think Classic Plus has a lot of potential, man. Uh, when are you actually switching to YouTube? Seems like you've been posturing towards it. I don't have any plans to switch to YouTube right now. Uh, but people are asking for no changes. Do you think this will satisfy the Classic fan base? I think that... There is a classic era server out there. And if you want to play the game with no changes, you can do that right now. So it's already there. Now, let's move on to something that's better. That's the way I see it. Yeah, it's like we've already had that. We've already done that. I don't want to go too far uh, in into that besides that. We level on a fresh server of Wrath. Why the fuck would I want to level up again? What the fuck is the point of playing playing Wrath of the Lich King and leveling up again? Oh my god, oh, it's the economy's different. Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Like, I don't give a shit about this. I just want to buy my consumables and raid. I'm not doing a GDKP. I'm not gonna uh, buy BOE items. You don't need any of them. They all suck. You don't need, you don't need that gear to clear Nax. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people will. I think that people that are looking to play fresh, it's going to be the exact same as it was with Season of Mastery. Season of Mastery, everybody was like, oh, this is going to be so cool. And then it comes out and people are like, okay. And then they stop playing because it's just not fun to level up for fucking ever and then finally get there and you have the same content that you were going to do anyway. By the time that people get done leveling in the new server, everybody else is going to be done playing Wrath of the Lich King in the first place. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not... Like, I might play it if everybody else is playing it and, like, I get peer pressured into it or something like that for content. But I probably am not going to. I'm going to be honest. I think that it's just not... It, it's not worth the time. GDK, GDKP ruins Classic, to be honest, for new players. GDKP ruins Classic? One of the things that I fucking hate about Classic WoW is that people mauled over the most minute fucking like granular changes in the game an average player that is playing tbc does not need to interface with gdkp raids at all you can join a guild and play in that guild and raid with them and there's no fucking gold that you have to spend there's nothing people are just complaining I fucking hate this man that's one of the reasons why I stopped talking about classic stuff is like it's all these like like I, uh, these like little fucking meaningless things that are happening in the game none of this shit really matters